Alright guys, in this video you're going to learn about the perfect square trinomial as well as the sum and difference pattern. In the first example, we have a binomial that's being squared, read as 4x plus 3 quantity squared. Okay, so you have one and two terms, okay, so it's called a binomial, and we actually call this a perfect square, tri uh, squ sorry, perfect square trinomial. Because when you multiply out each term, or distribute, what you'll have is a product that takes the form of a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. And I'm going to show you how to multiply it out using our graphic or organizer with the boxes with our Punnett square. And then I'll show you how it takes a place or how this form actually uh, works for every perfect square trinomial. Okay, So then I'm going to write down 4x plus 3. And because we are squaring the entire binomial, we cannot distribute these two to both terms. That doesn't make sense. We are multiplying 4x plus 3 to itself twice. Okay, so we have our a term, which is the 4x, and our b term, which is the 3. So I'll just keep that in mind as we multiply this out. So with my boxes, and we're at the 4x here and the 3 here, and the same thing on the top because we're multiplying the binomial by itself. And then we fill in our box. We have 4x times 4x, which is 16x squared, 4x times 3, which is 12x, same thing on the bottom left, and then we get 9. All right, so then we have a 16x squared all by itself, so I'm going to write that out. And then plus, since we have like terms, 12x and 12x, that becomes 24x plus our 9. So if you look at, keep in mind, we had our a be 4x and our b be 3, and taking the form of a squared plus 2ab plus b squared, our product is actually displaying this pattern. Okay, so we have our 4x squared. Okay, so 4x squared is 16x squared, so that works out. Then plus 2 times our a term, which is 4x, times our b term, which is 3. And if you look, 2 times 4 is 8, times 3 is 24, so 24x, that checks out as well. And then finally, our b term squared is 9. Okay, so if you see that if we have a binomial being squared, that'll just automatically multiply out into this perfect square trinomial. So if you look at the right, for b, we have the same thing going on. We have a binomial, binomial being squared. So this will take the form of your a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Don't worry about that minus sign because when you multiply your a and your b, just your b is a negative, so it's a negative 5y that you would insert for your b. Alright, so we're going to expand it to show how it works. We have 3x minus 5y times 3x minus 5y. And then multiply out using our Punnett square. And notice how we have the five, negative 5 in our second box and negative 5. Keep the negative with it. So then we're going to multiply out each corresponding term. So 3x times 3x, we get 9x squared. Negative 15xy. And then 3x times negative 5y, we get negative 15xy. And then finally, positive y squared. Okay, so then combining my like terms, the 9x squared is all by itself. Okay, so then now we have a negative 15xy and then another negative 15xy. Notice how there's two of them. Hmm, it's taking the form of that guy right there with the 2 times a b term. So we get a negative 30xy. And then finally we have a positive 25y squared. And that is our perfect square trinomial. So look at our a term was 3x and our b term was negative 5y. So if we look at our product, we have 9x squared, which is 3x squared, negative 30xy, which is 2 times 3, which is negative 6. I'm sorry, 2 times 3 is 6, and then times negative 5, which is negative 30, and then we have the xy attached to the corresponding term. And then finally, the b squared ends up being negative 
y squared, quantity squared, and we get positive 25y squared. All right, why don't you try these and then pause the video, I'm sorry, pause the video, then try them, and then unpause it to see how you did. All right, check your answers, and then move on. All right, so this next slide is called the sum and difference pattern. So if you notice, if you have two binomials, where the first term in each binomial is the same, the second term in the binomials are just opposite of each other. This is called the sum and difference pattern. Okay, so we have a sum and difference, hence sum and difference pattern. This will always take the form, if you multiply out this binomial, as a squared minus your b squared. So let's look at an example here on the right. Let's say that we have 3y plus 2 times 3y minus 2. Okay, we have our a term, which is 3y, and our b term, which is 2. So because they're exactly the same, other than the fact that the second term, b, one's positive and one's negative, this is a, the sum and difference pattern. So then right away, it will take the form as a, of a squared minus b squared. So there's my a, there's my b. So if I take my a and my b, notice how I put parentheses around my a. You must include the parentheses around your a and then square it. Same thing with your b, parentheses around it and then square it. So then if I multiply that out, 3y quantity squared ends up being 9y squared and then 2 ends up being, I'm sorry, 2 squared ends up being minus 4. Alright, example 2. So if you look at the two binomials, the first terms are the same, the second terms are the same, but the only difference is that we have a plus and a negative sign, or a plus and minus sign. So this would fall into the category of a sum and difference pattern. So then this multiplied out would be the quantity n squared minus the quantity 3 squared. So then right away, we can have 9 squared minus 9. I'm sorry, n squared minus 9. Okay? All right. So this should say B. So if you look at the two binomials, they're exactly the same. So then do you guys know what this is called when you multiply it out? Good, a perfect squared trinomial. So then right away, when I write it out, I have two, I'm sorry, I have my a squared, plus 2ab plus b squared. Okay, my a would be 4x, my b would be y, negative y, excuse me, and I can just fill it right in. And this is just a quick way when you, if you recognize the pattern, it makes multiplication a lot quicker for you. And then I'm done.